Now, military leaders say President Biden must decide by today whether to extend the U.S. mission in Afghanistan beyond August 31st. That's now one week away. That deadline follows an announcement by the White House that more than 10,000 people were evacuated from the country. Monday, the military says today's deadline for a decision is necessary to make sure there is enough time to withdraw the nearly 6,000 troops on the ground as well as equipment. CNN reports the president's advisors do not want an extension due to the security situation on the ground. A Taliban spokesperson has said if U.S. troops are in the country beyond the deadline, quote, our leadership will take proper and necessary decisions, end quote. Now, an Afghan interpreter currently living in the U.S. fears for his family. Syed Musa moved to Texas in 2014 under a special visa for helping U.S. troops, but his family, including his mother and wife, are still in Afghanistan now under Taliban rule. He says nobody's safe right now. It's like, I don't feel like I want to eat anything without knowing how they're doing. I'm sure if the Taliban are not doing anything today, they're going to do something tomorrow, day after tomorrow. We, we never know. We can't trust those people. Americans need to, to wake up and start speaking out. You know, for 20 years we've been over there and... I mean, just imagine if, like, the roles were reversed. Now, Musa says his family is waiting at home, but they may need to find somewhere else to go. He adds he has reached out to the U.S. Embassy, but has not heard back. Now, Afghan refugees continued arriving in the U.S. from Afghanistan Monday. This is alongside another small group who safely arrived in Fort Lee in Virginia. Now, officials say they were special immigrant visa applicants, their families and other people who were at high risk as well. Now, it's unclear the exact number of Afghans who have currently been able to escape the war-torn country following the withdrawal of U.S. forces and Taliban takeover. In a positive story surrounding help for Afghan refugees, a pair of kids are lending some helping hands. Lemonade for $2 and $1. These Colorado cousins are making homemade lemonade to help with refugee aid, the humanitarian crisis in Afghanistan, by donating all proceeds to the International Rescue Committee. The five-year-olds have found sweet success as well with a special family recipe that's going down well with customers. Just like my mother used to make. Business is going great. Now, at last count, the boys had raised an impressive $750 for the effort. If everyone takes small steps to do something, then maybe it will make a difference. If you'd like to help, head to the IRC's website. They're a non-governmental organization that helps with shelter, care, education, and support to people who face a humanitarian crisis. Now, the IRC began work in Afghanistan in 1988. Recently, they helped nearly 800 Afghans who were relocated to Fort Lee resettle. They've also welcomed another 500 who arrived in other parts of the country. They add, quote, as the current crisis intensifies, our staff, 99% of whom are native Afghans, will continue this critical work, end quote. Now, if you're looking to help from Wisconsin, Lutheran Social Services in Appleton and World Relief in the Fox Valley are two of the four state department-approved refugee resettlement programs. Now, you can make online donations to support refugees making their way to our country.